recover the root password, you will need a management device such as a laptop or PC, an Ethernet rollover cable that was supplied with your router, an RJ45 to DB9 serial port adapter which was also supplied with your router, and if your laptop or PC does not have a DB9 serial port, you will also need to use a USB to serial port adapter. You need direct console access to recover the root password. Begin by powering off the router. Then, power off the laptop or PC that you are using to access the CLI. Before we begin, please note that this figure is just an example and the physical location of the console and serial ports may vary. To access documentation for your specific router, visit the Juniper Network's technical documentation website at www.juniper.net slash techpups. Begin by plugging the Ethernet cable into the RJ45 to DB9 serial port adapter, and then plug the serial port adapter into the computer you are using. Next, connect the Ethernet cable to the console port on your router. Your laptop or PC might not have a DB9 serial port, and if this is the case, you will also need to use a USB to serial port adapter to connect to your computer. This will plug into your computer's USB port, and then you can plug that into the RJ45 to DB9 serial port adapter. Now you can turn on your laptop or PC and begin to configure your settings. Once your laptop is on, start your asynchronous terminal emulation application. In this video, we are using Microsoft Windows Hyperterminal. Select the appropriate COM port to use. Next, configure your settings as follows. Bits per second is set at 9600, data bits is set at 8, parity is none, stop bits is 1, and flow control is none. Once you have configured the port settings, you can turn on the router. Verify that the power LED is on and turns green. The router will begin the boot sequence. When this prompt appears, press the spacebar to access the router's bootstrap loader command prompt. When the prompt says OK, enter boot space hyphen s to start the system in single user mode. When this prompt appears, enter the word recovery to start the procedure. Now you can enter configuration mode in the CLI. Once you have entered configuration mode, type set system root authentication plain text password. Now you can enter a new root password. It will prompt you to retype the password. After you have finished re-entering the root password, commit the configuration. Then exit configuration mode, and then exit operational mode in the CLI. A prompt appears asking you to reboot the router. Type Y to reboot. 